In this video, we got a gameplay on the new playoff Evo Pink Diamond DeJounte Murray in NBA 2K23, my team, for his performance in Game 2 of the NBA playoffs versus the Boston Celtics. I believe he had 28 points. They did lose, but he still did get an Evo from an Amethyst all the way up to a Pink Diamond version. He's going to be a shooting guard point guard, and he is 6'5", so I think he actually can be usable in-game compared to like some Evos we've been getting recently with cards like Jalen Brunson, Davion Mitchell, you know, those type of cards, Tyrese Maxey, you know, Darius Garland, like those cards are really Really fun to use and they're good offensively it's just they're only six foot or six foot one so they're going to be super undersized but a card like Dejounte murray is six foot five and i think he can actually play in game with that size and his defensive stats as well he's got a 94 three ball though 92 mid-range pretty good at going to the basket as well with a 95 driving dunk and a 92 ball handle you take a look at his defensive stats besides a 32 block which doesn't really matter a whole lot at this time of the year i mean he's still got a 98 steel 89 perimeter and an 87 interior defense and then he's also rapid quick i mean he's literally a faster card than uh, darius garland he's got 98 speed 98 acceleration with a 98 speed with ball and then you take a look at his badges he does have 12 on hall of fame including slithery asian three catch and shoot limitless range clamp breaker quick first step unpluckable anchor challenger clamps glove and pick dodger as well and then he's got 34 gold badges including corner specialist green machine guard up space crater volume shooter ankle breaker break starter floor general hands for days hyperdrive killer combo post playmaker ankle braces chase on artist interceptor off ball pass workhorse and rebound chaser so i think Dejounte murray depending on his jump shot and his dribble sticks i think he could be a very solid maybe budget point guard in the game depending on how much mt he does go for but i really want to take a look at his sigs and i believe he does have the curry slide so yeah he does have the curry escape which means he does have the curry slide I'm not exactly sure what his size up is, but his triple six are good. I mean, the card can move at a pretty high level. He feels quick with the ball in his hands for a six foot five point guard. And then going downhill, I think he's got the front clutches and the quick drops off one. So he's gonna have some amazing dunk packages. And then taking a look at that jump shot, it's not the prettiest release in the game. It seems very, very slow, but I mean, that's not that bad. It's not that bad of a release. It's definitely not a great jump shot or a good jump shot. But I would say it's not like terrible. I mean, for a six foot five point guard, he's gonna be one of the best playoff Evos we've gotten so far because he's one of the only like playable ones in game with good dribble sigs, a great jump shot, or sorry, great dribble sigs and a good jump shot. And then going to the basket, like I said, he is gonna be very solid. It's just like off the dribble. It doesn't feel like the best in game. Like his jump shot doesn't feel the best off the dribble. I mean, yeah, you should be able to agree with that pretty consistently, but let's go green number three and let's get on to the pink diamond DeJounte Murray gameplay. Into the Clutch M online game here with the Pink Diamond DeJounte Murray. My opponent does have Kobe White at the point guard spot, which should be a great test for DeJounte Murray to see what he can do against another really good budget point guard in Kobe White. Like, I really do like that Kobe White card and think he should be a great test for DeJounte, but we're looking to go around that screen from uh, Dino Raja. We're attacking that paint, going all the way, and we almost threw that down. We got Kobe White. He's stumbling on the floor, but taking a look at his free throw release... I mean, it's solid. Does that, that's actually a pretty good free throw release. A lot better than I was expecting with his jump shot being a little bit wonky. So I think the main thing about DeJounte for me is going to be his defense, what he looks like on the defensive end, and then that jump shot, you know, how well is it going to be off the dribble? Can you green people's faces? You know, is it going to be a slow release off the dribble? That's the stuff that I do want to see with DeJounte Murray, but we're looking to push that ball here in transition. Kind of wanted to shoot that, but we're going to find some bonus here down low, and we got a mismatch inside. We'll take our easy assist. Just got to facilitate and, you know, start off the game slow you know and just kind of i just want to get used to dejounte you know on the court and just get used to his jump shot so i definitely want to be chucking up some threes how did dino not get that steal that ball literally hit his hands but he's going to pull up with this dark matter pg and get that three ball to go so let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the pink diamond dejounte i think he's going to be a lot better than his other pink diamond version if you guys remember he did get an evo is look at him going to the rim he did get an evo on his pioneers diamond version that went up to a pink diamond but i believe that jump shot was only on quick time or normal and he didn't really have the greatest dribble sigs where now this pink diamond has great sigs i mean the steph curry escape is one of the best escapes in the game and he also does have a great size up as well so we're looking to go all the way to the rim and that was not a great take he's gonna play good defense with his i think that's john collins as he's going all the way with kobe and we're going to try to play good defense with Kelly, but we are going to foul and give him two free throws out the line. But let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about Pink Diamond DeJounte? Are you guys going to maybe look to add him to your squad, depending on his price, which I'm not even sure how much he's going for right now. I think he's around 10 to 15, 20K. He might be a little bit more. I mean, that, that's definitely very solid for a budget point guard. 
I think he could be very usable in game with the right cards around him because I would say he's probably not going to be your main ball handlers. We're looking to run to that left, trying to step it back. The Jante. And we can't knock that down. We are going to get the rebound with Dino. Looking to take him off the dribble here. Got to slow it down. I mean, we are running out of stamina very, very quickly. I'm just not confident, you know, to take his jump shot off the dribble. We're trying to go all the way. And we can't get that layup to go. So my opponent is playing good defense. I mean, these Evo cards are solid. Like I would say DeJounte is probably one of the better, you know, Evo cards so far that we've gotten because he's six foot five at point guard. He's got pretty good all around stats. I'm just really not sure about his jump shot. I also don't know if he has the normal leaner, if he has a different leaner, but we're trying to go all the way to the paint and we just cannot get anything to go, but we do get DeJounte here left wide open and we are able to knock down that three. So very lucky that we do got some bonus there down low and he's just snagging up all our misses on the offensive glass. But I'm just really not sure about this card's jump shot. I think that's the main thing that I do want to test out is he's going to go all the way Way with Paul George and get that slam dunk to go. So yeah, that's that, that's my main thing that I'm kind of worried about with this Dejounte Murray card is just mainly having to do with his jump shot. But we're gonna run to that right. He's got that normal leaner, and I will say he might not have the best jump shot off the dribble, but having that normal leaner is gonna be super helpful on the card just to help him score, you know, more threes and just be more of a, a more of a threat from the three point line. But we're looking to play good defense here. Got to watch his John Collins drive. We're looking to clamp up. I mean, that is a Pretty good contest there from uh, Kelly Oubre. For some reason, it said an open contest. But come on, man. Got to get that screen here from Dino. Looking to go around that screen. Can we maybe throw up a little bit of a lob? And that was not a good pass. That was just straight up not a good pass. He's going to try to find Paul George down low. And yeah, there's no way. I mean, we only got, what, a 32 block or something on DeJounte. That might also be a little bit of a problem. But let me get here in the two-man pick and roll with DeJounte Murray. We're looking to go around that screen and... What pass am I throwing, man? I don't know in what world I thought that pass was going to go through, but we're trying to get back here in transition. Good defense from Kelly, and we got to push that ball in transition and got to get the ball back into the hands of DeJounte. I do want to try to get a stop and go three off the dribble. DeJounte Murray. And okay, I mean, it's not bad. That release is not terrible. If you got some space and he's wide open, that's not that bad. That's not that bad off the dribble. It's really not as bad as I thought it was. We're looking to go around that screen from Sabonis. We're going to stop pop once again, and we can't get that to go. A good offensive rebound, though, from Sabonis. He's just eating down low as we're looking to take him off the dribble. We're going to dot that corner into my man uh, Thaddeus Young, and he's able to knock that down. I wasn't even sure who I had at the small four position, but I guess it was Thaddeus Young. And a good pass there from DeJounte after that drive. Got to watch him driving in with Kobe White. I mean, the defense has been very solid. Nothing too crazy so far but I think he's just been doing solid on the defensive end and has been really cooking on offense. We're trying to attack that boogie. I mean, we just cannot finish down low. I will say this DeJounte Murray card is not really what I thought he would be at going to the basket, but somehow we get that layup to go and we now got 15 points, two rebounds and two assists on the ball game. He also activated our slashing takeover. I mean, this card really hasn't been too good at going to the rim. We've been getting blocked and stopped a lot at driving to the rim, but we're looking to play good defense here. Got to get a hand up. He's just swinging the ball around the perimeter, and we get a great defensive stop there. Looking to push that ball in transition. I want to see this card going to the basket. Can we finish? And yes, we do around the rim right over his Paul George. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the Pink Diamond Playoff Evo DeJounte Murray gameplay. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, and let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this card? Do you think he'll be a usable budget point guard in the game? I mean, he had 17 points, two rebounds, two assists, shot okay efficiently from the field, and really good from the three-point line, played a lot better than I thought he would, and all around, I think DeJounte Murray is going to be a very solid point guard in the game. But let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about him, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.